Most impressed. Yeah. Honestly, it was a it was a good slate of games, but none of these teams really like wowed me in terms of performance. Okay. Like they were they could have been good in some aspects and in other aspects. It was just like a little little more left to be desired. Some standouts. I mean, I guess I mean the Chiefs, I mean they Baltimore's a good team. We all know this. Even that game wasn't all perfect or anything like that i mean a lot of uh, plays left on the field and the penalties and everything like that um the packers and eagles game i mean they were slipping all over the field turnovers the defenses is just getting torched on both ends i will say the cowboys defense did impress me i didn't expect i saw major differences between dan quinn's system and mike zimmer's system in just one game linebackers are flying all over the field flying to the ball everyone's ready to hit the gap integrity the players who actually knew like they was doing their job instead of just trying to get upfield every single play i will say the bills i mean i know the cardinals they're still the cardinals respectfully but i thought the bills i didn't think the bills had 34 points in them i ain't gonna lie but josh allen you have an elite qb like josh allen stuff we will make something happen even they didn't have a perfect game or really a really good game for their standards but yeah i, I mean I, I look around the league and it's just like it's a little early to tell i'm not really like super impressed with either of these teams i must say the 49ers those freaking 40 you, like, know. you as soon as you think you see a crack they just they just get like a freaking they get the cement truck and just repave the whole thing CMC gets out, gets declared out before the game starts. And then Jordan Mason comes in the game and rushes for 151 yards. Shanahan special. It's the Shanahan special, man. They find these running backs, they fit the system, and they play well. It pisses me off every time. Jeff Wilson. The defense, years- even without Dre Greenlaw, they still playing top-tier football. I-, I can't stand the 49ers. I really can't. And the offense was looking shaky. Like Brandon Ayuk and Purdy left a lot of plays on them. They left a few plays on the field. That touchdown he dropped when he tried to die for it. Ayuk. I mean, somebody, we somebody got to put a stop to these dudes. Detroit Lions, man. Detroit Lions. I, they, they have, a, they have, they going down to the wire with the freaking Rams. I mean, hey, Rams hey, don't disrespect the Rams. They on a bad team, but if you look, you should have. The Lions should have low key floored them. I'm not gonna lie. Shoot, Amon Ross, St. Brown. He what he had, 15 yards. Yeah, 15 yards. I, well, it yeah, is we, first we week to, jitters. First honestly, week jitters. honestly, the first week of the season kind of like the preseason because yeah, a lot yeah. of these teams they're not even playing their QBs in the in the preseason. So you really, this really the first time you've seen the first team offense on the field for a lot of teams. So this like the Jaguars didn't look good on offense. No, well they they look good for like the first half and the second half roll around. They just stopped throwing the ball. Trevor Lawrence only had seven passes in in the second half. Like what the hell? The seven passes wasn't looking that good in the run game. Hn, I think he had what six rushing yards. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so, like so let me so let me spin it. So what what's a player that impressed you? A player that impressed me? Yeah, a player that impressed me. J.K. Dobbins had a really nice rushing day. Yeah, he did. Really, I, I wasn't expecting that. Especially after all the injuries he's amassed uh, over the few seasons. I didn't expect that personally. Another person, I will say. Let me think. I got I got a name. You go. You go. It's, from, it's from, from the game. My team. The team that. The Packers versus the Eagles. Saquon Barkley. Yeah, like three touchdowns, over 100 yards rushing. Yeah, I was impressed with Saquon. A receiving touchdown. I, I didn't expect him to do all that. I knew Saquon was still a good running back. I knew he was going to be good for the Eagles. But I didn't expect this. I didn't expect, oh, he's back to being a top five running back type of production. I, I didn't see this at all. So I, I was very impressed with Saquon. He was the driving force of the offense. Even when Jalen Hurts was stinking up the joint, Saquon Barkley was cleaning up all his mess. It, it was he, he was the most valuable player of that Eagles offense, that Eagles team that day. And I, I was thoroughly impressed. I'll give you another name. I already mentioned it before, but I'm going to mention it again. Baker Mayfield, four touchdowns. I was a bit skeptical because you lose Dave Canales, you bring in a new OC, albeit the OC, he was from the Rams tree at one point. So, but I was still a little skeptical, you know, it's a new offense, new OC, we we have to see. And man, he was dialed laying it up dime after dime it did not matter the commanders were having trouble trying to tackle him like they would 
be close to tackling him, be close to sacking him, and all of a sudden he evades, he evades it, and he diamond it out to Chris Godwin. He's diamond it out to Jalen McMillan. He's diamond it out to Mike Evans. I'm like, damn, <laughs> is anybody going to sack this man? And they couldn't do it. And he was just diamond, man. Salute to Baker Mayfield, dude. Salute to him because he's he's come a long way. Like there was a there was a time where he was perceived as a backup QB, a really, really good backup QB. That is true. He goes to the Panthers. They they were pretty much writing, writing his coffin, writing, writing. They were just leaving him there, there for dead. But then all of a sudden he gets traded to the Rams. He has a couple, you know, a couple of uh, a good games. And then he goes to the Buccaneers. He beats out, was it Kyle Trask or somebody, some QB. And he he has a resurgence. He has a really, really good year. He makes the playoff and wins a playoff game. And then now all of a sudden the, the, the QB that the Browns needed, guess what? You let him go. Mm. You let him go. Now, now who has the last lap? It's Baker Mayfield. He looked like a top five QB this past week. The QB play wasn't all that great. I'll tell you that much. Uh, no, it wasn't. I, I, I got three players for you. Um, right one ahead. player I got is Isaiah Likely. He came in tight end two on the Ravens. People didn't really, was weren't really high on him. Most people didn't even know who the heck he really were. He was. He showed y'all some Thursday. Had a hundred some yards, almost two touchdowns. If his foot was like a half size, like a size and a half smaller, but yeah, Isaiah Likely came in and played some good. People like Mark Andrews, who they was looking for, they was looking for Mark Andrews. Isaiah Likely in so many plays. Another player was Joe Mixon. I I didn't expect Joe Mixon to rush for 150 yards. I, I thought Joe Mixon was cooked food. Oh. And another person I thought was cooked food, Ramondre Stevenson. He had a really good rushing day. Like Ramondre oh. Stevenson. So oh, he was cooked food too. <laughs> hey, the running backs, the running backs, is, they fighting back. Even yeah, Zeke had a back. decent day. I was like, oh my yeah. goodness, what's going on? Yeah, you can't, can't write him off just yet. You know, the passing game, it seems like we're uh, turning back the clock, going back to old style of football, leaning lean yeah, into man. the run game. You know, it's all I love it. I love I love seeing running backs. That's why get that's why I went shine. running back in the first three rounds. I couldn't take the I went two running backs the first three rounds. I couldn't take that risk. Shit, I was trying to get Josh Jacobs, but somebody had to get Josh Jacobs. So <laughs> I went with I went with Marvin Harrison Jr. and I went with DJ Moore. So yeah, man. but I got my got my boy Jonathan Taylor. That's another thing. Shane Steichen. Hey, utilize him in the passing game more. He can catch the ball. Like oh, I, I don't get I don't get why his running backs he don't want to utilize his running backs in the passing game. It pisses me off. Like you got they can catch the ball, Shane Steichen. It's okay. You don't have to just utilize him as a power back. He can catch out the backfield. Damn it. Pissing me off. That's Jonathan Taylor. Like, come on. All right. Just let me be. Me.